What's going on, Monster Jam fans, and welcome back to Scissor TV. You could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're hanging out with us, and I thank you for that. If you want to see some amazing Monster Jam crashing, smashing, freestyling action, you, my friend, have come to the right place. But enough talking. Let's get into the action. So let's get ready to monster! What's going on, Monster Jam fans? And welcome to another exciting freestyle episode. We've got so many things for you today, and I cannot wait to get into it. So let's get down to the arena floor and see what Blue Thunder can do for us in a freestyle competition. Two, one, go! And Blue Thunder is off to an explosive start. Oh, with a backflip right out the gate. And is he going for a second one off the Connex box? Oh, he is! Two backflips, and we're barely 15 seconds into this freestyle event. Let's take you inside the truck so you can see exactly what the driver of Blue Thunder is seeing as he rolls around on that arena floor. That is crazy. Looks like he has his bearing back as he's getting a little bit of air going into the center of the stadium. Looks like he's lining up for his next trick. Oh, and another backflip. He knows what the crowd wants to see, and he is giving it to him. And he knows what us here at Scissor TV loves to see, and that is some donuts. Everybody loves them. Cream-filled, jelly-filled, glazed. You know we eat all sorts of them here. Oh, goes for a little bit of sideways air into a stoppy, but can't stay on those front big old BKT tires. Oh, and look at that bicycle. Oh, a reverse bicycle as he tries to power out. Blue Thunder is giving us everything he has and leaving it all out on the track as he rolls around. Come on, buddy, power out. Can he do it? Oh, he can just using that front right tire going into another bicycle. I think Blue Thunder has decided he's going to do the rest of the freestyle on only two wheels. Oh, some more big air in the center of the stadium, flipping over and completing with a corkscrew. Let's go back inside that cab. Oh, and that's what it feels like to do a backflip in a giant monster truck. That is amazing. Some more giant air. Look at the hang time, kids. He was in the air for what seemed like forever. Oh, as he rolls around, but I, you know he's going to power out because Blue Thunder has done this before, and this is something he loves to do. And you can hear how much this crowd loves watching him. Looks like he's signing up for another trick. What are we going to see? Oh, he stalls out in the air, tries to land on those back rear tires, but is unable to maintain it going to the Connex box. And, and we have lost all pieces of Blue Thunder. What an amazing job to start off this freestyle adventure. All right, let's move directly into event number two, and we're going to be going outside for a little bit of a race in Bark park we're gonna be following none other than octanator with the best in show waypoint race he's gonna be up against all sorts of other big old monster trucks like maximum destruction ice cream man and monster mutt dalmatian and what an amazing start that was a perfect start off the line boys and girls and it looks like he's gonna hit this jump Oh, and he does, and he wants to show off a little bit with a backflip. It doesn't matter that it's not a freestyle competition. Octonator wants to impress the crowd, and you just saw that big air by Ice Cream Man. Oh, as he majorly misses that jump and goes flying off into the side. Right now, Octonator is... Whoa! I spoke too soon. Ice Cream Man says, I am not out of this race, and I'm getting right back in it. I tell you, if there's one thing I love about Monster Jam Racing, it's that you never know what's going to happen, and no monster truck is ever counted out. Oh, and it looks like Octonator was trying to go the wrong direction. He thought it was a circuit race. It's a waypoint race, buddy. You can't just go in a big circle, and that's going to cost him dearly. Big air as we go right past Monster Mutt's house, and we are gonna try and stay on this cliff here. And oh, wait, who is that? Oh, it's Monster Mutt Dalmatian is trying to push 
Octonator off the road and jockey for position to get ahead. Because remember, even if you can't get first place, there are points given for everything. And coming in third or fourth could be the difference in winning the overall series standings. <laughs> and Monster Mutt Dalmatian is just smashing up on Octonator's rear bumper, but Octonator has his sights set on Ice Cream Man and he's not giving up as they go through another waypoint. We've got some big air coming up. Let's see how it goes. Oh, and Octonator decides to go for another backflip and smashes into Ice Cream Man, who cannot make the full rotation, showing off and being able to overtake another position seems like everything is coming together for this crazy creature. Speaking of crazy creatures, Octonator is trying now to creep up on his good friend and fellow crazy creature dragon. Let's see if he can overtake him by the end of this race as we're getting pretty close. It's going to be a photo finish. Oh, and it looks like Maximum Destruction is your winner and Octonator took fourth place. Let's go back down to the arena and look at everyone's favorite crazy bull, El Toro Loco, in another freestyle competition. It looks like El Toro Loco is still a little dirty from his last freestyle competition, but that doesn't matter because he came here to drive and he came here to impress. And as always, that crazy Brahma Bull is going with a backflip into a mini stop. He looks like he's setting up for his next trick. Oh, a front flip, the first one of those we've seen tonight, into a moonwalk all the way up to the crush cars. And he perfectly rotates that into a wheelie, bunny hops over. How is he doing this, boys and girls? El Toro Loco is crazy. All right, looks like he's lining up for his next trick. I think we're gonna see a backflip. Oh, and we are a big old backflip off that Connex box. You love to see it. And if you guys love seeing it, make sure you smash that like button. All right, El Toro Loco getting some medium size here in the center, and it looks like he's going for our fan favorite donut. Say it with me, kids. We love him. We love to see him as he powers out on two wheels, setting up for another trick. Oh, and is he going to get the wheelie, the wheelie into the stoppy moonwalk? There is nothing that this truck cannot do up except keep all of his pieces together. You know that that body is not cheap, but he doesn't mind spending it all for us. Oh, into a single wheel stoppy right there. El Toro Loco, we're gonna take you right into the center of that truck. Oh, and again, that's what it feels like to do a backflip inside of a giant monster truck. You see, we've got one hand on the wheel, one hand on that emergency brake, and all eyes on the road because El Toro Loco is planning his next move, his next trick. Oh, and as he's rolling over, but you know he's gonna be able to power out. Oh, expertly, he does. Cork screwing around, it was amazing. Not much time left. El Toro Loco is going to go for some of his final tricks. Those horns are just holding on for dear life. Oh, as he goes over, lands on his side, but he powers out into a wheelie. And that is an amazing way to finish up a freestyle event. Boys and girls, let's hear it for El Toro Loco. He really extended the run right there at the end, didn't he? Let's go, El Toro Loco. Moving into our next event, we're going to have another bit of a race. You love to see it out in the desert. It's a Waypoint Desert Dust Up. And we're gonna be following none other than Maximum Destruction as he faces off against Jurassic Attack, Gravedigger, Ice Cream Man, Bakugan Dragonoid, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and another zombie maximum destruction. Sometimes we get those clones in these races and we are the original, not the carbon copy. And Max D is going to show them that he is often imitated but never duplicated.
Ice Cream Man is just giving everybody a hard time that he is racing against today. The way he just nudged maximum destruction up into the wall right there shows that he really knows how to drive that big old monster truck. Coming into one of the first turns, this is going to be where our Monster Jam trucks are going to make some tight decisions and see which order they go to hit all these waypoints. Are they going to try to thread the needle between those pylons or take the shortest distance between any two points and that's a straight line. Max D looks like he's opting to cut the corners very smartly using that boost, threads the needle through the pylons. Great job Max D as he is rubbing and racing against Ice Cream Man and that zombie Max D coming all the way right now to second place. Can he overtake Bakugan Dragonoid? Oh, he does, and the good guy takes first place right now. Some big old monster air out in the desert dunes. Oh my goodness. Come on, Max D, power out, get back on those wheels. Can he do it? That may have cost him a little bit of time. He's got to go touch that waypoint. Oh, and he has. He's dropped down to fourth place, but he is down and not out, because as we previously said, in a Monster Jam or waypoint race, you are never out of it. If you are a professional and you don't give up, you can always get back in and win. And there we go. Right now, Max D has his eyes set on first place, currently in third with Jurassic Attack in second, fighting, fighting that zombie Max D with, of course, Gravedigger up top in first place. No surprise that the legend that is Gravedigger is having an amazing race today, but Maximum D, one of his greatest rivals, is not going to let him take home first place easily. Being a little reserved as we move through the aircraft graveyard, we don't want to run into something. Max D wants to make sure that he keeps on trucking. Oh no! I feel like maybe. Oh, with a big old smash from Bakugan Dragonoid sends Max D careening off the road, and I can't help but feel like maybe I jinxed him a little, but he's down and not out. Getting back up to full speed, hitting this waypoint. We've only got a few left. Let's see if Max D can make up a little bit of space and get higher in that overall points total. He can see the competition, but the race is almost over and Max D is going to finish sadly in last place, but oh, what an amazing way to cross the finish line, and what an amazing way to finish this episode. Guys, I hope you had a great time, because I surely did, just like I do each and every week. Don't forget that we have three Monster Jam videos every single week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you're able to watch them when they premiere, come hang out with me and chat and tell me what you like and just say hi to all the other viewers. I need you guys to do two things before you go. You need to promise me that you're going to one, be good to another, and two, always treat others the way you would want to be treated. So until next week, we'll see ya!